We were so high up. And as we climbed even higher and higher, the air became colder. My eyesight started to fade, and all I was able to hear was a faint white noise ringing in the back of my ears. Wait a minute, do I even have ears? Do any of us have ears? Oh, I'm losing it. I didn't even think about the possibility of losing oxygen all the way up here. It's honestly kind of hard to tell if we're even still moving or not. Everything is just sort of a blur. This might even be a dream. Stop it. I can't lose myself. Not now. After making it this far, I just have to keep focusing. Keep focusing. Keep. I don't know what you'd call this sensation. It's a combination of something and nothing. Of pain and comfort. Is it because we're so high up? Or is it because I know what's going to happen soon? We're about to meet Rayquaza, and then I'll have to say goodbye to Mudkip and return to the human world. But do I want... do I want to go back? I feel like it's slowly starting to come back to me. I can vaguely remember what my previous life was like. Mudkip reminds me of somebody from the human world. Somebody very precious to me. But I can't quite recall who. It must have been someone I was very close with. Even now, when on the cusp of losing consciousness, I feel at peace knowing that they're by my side. Why is that? Is it out of not fearing death? or out of satisfaction with the life that I've lived. Stop it! This isn't the end. We still have to finish this mission. Keep it together. We can't stop now. Just keep moving forward. We're climbing through the sky. That means we're bound to see the sun again eventually. We'll make it. We have to just keep moving forward. I, I see a light. Are we at the summit? Or am I finally at the end of my rope? Well, I guess I'm about to find out. Is this the top floor? Who goes there? Who dares to trespass upon my airspace? That voice. Could it be Rayquaza? Indeed I am. The sky is my domain. Depart at once. But, mm, we don't have time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never! I am a being of the sky, and you are my denizens of the ground. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never once have I descended to the ground. And the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end! This is the final battle against the legendary Pokémon, Rayquaza. 
Wait, why does that sound so familiar? Whatever. We finally made it. We made it to the top and came face to face with Rayquaza. It was like nothing I had ever seen before. An absolute titan. It was devastatingly strong. It felt impossible to even stand a chance against it. But we had to just keep fighting like we always have. We made it. We actually made it. Rayquaza had to listen to reason, no matter what. Because if it doesn't, then even it won't be safe. None of us will. We have to let Rayquaza know of the fate that's about to take place on this world. We need their help to save everyone. No matter what it takes, we'll do it because we have to. No matter what happens, we won't know until we try. And we refuse to let anyone get hurt ever again. We are a rescue team. And we are on a mission to save the world. What? What? An earthquake? It's not possible. We're on top of clouds. These are shockwaves. And they're huge. That's it. I got it. Look straight up, Rayquaza. What is that? It's a shooting star, and it's enormous. It will destroy the world if it continues on this path. That's why we came, Rayquaza. Please destroy the falling star. So, that is why. Yes, please hurry and destroy it. Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close if I were to loose my hyper beam here. You would not escape unscathed. So? We accepted that from the start. Well said. Take charge of your destiny! Is this a dream? No, this is no dream. Yes, the star's explosion swallowed me. And I'm now adrift as a spirit. This shadow, Kangar. <laughs> Cyndaquil. Didn't take much to put you down. Serves you right. <laughs> now, what to do with you? I know. I'll drag you into the dark world. <laughs> That'll do it. is dragging me. 
Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. What is the dark world? Am I going to be abandoned in a world I don't know? Huh. Darn it. I took the wrong path. What? This isn't like me. I can't tell which way is which. Kah! To heck with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. <laughs> Goodbye to you. Hey. Hey, can you hear? Snap out of it! Huh? This place? Uh... Regained consciousness. Oh! I'm sure of it. I'm sure. Back there, Gengar saved me. Maybe... Did Gengar save Cynical too? Awesome! You're alive! You really had all of us worried. You were incredible. I'm so glad you're safe! It's fantastic! Everyone, thank you. But... What about the star? What happened to it? Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be right away. The disasters shall soon be calmed. What about our team member? Where's Absol? Be calm, Absol is safe. Really? We did it, Cinequil. Everything worked. We've won peace. One piece? Why does that expression fill me with so much joy? Who am I kidding? It's because we did it! We saved the world! Yay! This is the greatest! This calls for a celebration! Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off! Whoa, hold on there. Don't you point those things at me. Face the other way, the other way! No, no, let it loose! Ha 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 You've got to be kidding me! I'll secure him so he can't get away. Oh, not bad. What? What? You're serious? No! Don't! <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey. Uh, huh? Guard of War. We owe everything to you, Jeffrey, and your friends. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Jeffrey, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It is time to bid farewell. It's finally come. This time has finally arrived. Jeffrey, I am so sorry for this. To everyone, 
Please bid farewell. Thank you for everything, Gardevoir. Oh? Cyndaquil? Uh, Cyndaquil! Your body! What's happening to you? Mudkip. And everyone. I'm sorry. But I have to leave. What? What? What are you saying? Everyone. Thank you for everything all this time. Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable! Go back? To the human world? Huh? Well, why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Didn't we... Aren't we friends? Yes. You will always be my friend, Mudkip. I will never forget you. Don't go, Cinequil. I'm blessed to have met you. I... What am I going to do when you're gone, Cinequil? I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Cyndaquil! 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 No! Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Cyndaquil saved my life. But I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left. Before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just upped and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things were going to get better. <laughs> this was coming. Our world, it was saved by Cyndaquil. I look back now. When bound from the sky, Cyndaquil seemed... as if resigned, resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. Cynical must have... Cynical must have become a Pokemon to save us. And when the star was destroyed, Cynical knew that would be the time to leave. Why? Why didn't Cynical tell me earlier? If this was coming, why didn't Cinnabel tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, Cyndaquil must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Mudkip. <laughs> Cinnaquil. What is this? 
I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. <sighs> voices? I hear voices. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend. A friend for life. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and you wish very strongly, perhaps we will meet again. I... I remember now. I remember everything. I was a human who came from a terrible home. I had a very sad and lonely childhood. But eventually, I found friends. Friends whom I adored and thought the world of. People who accepted me for who I was and inspired me to better myself. Those friends, they gave me a purpose. They gave me hope. I... I love them. How could I have forgotten them? But now, my heart has love for two worlds now. The one I came from, and the one I'm now departing from. Both of them have their hardships, their monsters, their devastations. But they both still have so much good to be found in them. I'm able to make it through those calamities because my friends are by my side. People I consider family. People who both give me a home and a reason to want to live within it. I can't say goodbye to either of them. How could I ever value one over the other? It doesn't matter which one came first. They both got me to where I am today. They both made an irreplaceable impact on my life. I could never move on from them in place of another. I want to hold on to all of these friends I've made. I want to make even more new friends in both of these worlds. Does it really have to be this way? I just can't. I love them too much to just give up. Yes, I'll think of something. I have to. Because this is just Another impossible task. And when Team Go-Getters is faced with the impossible, we overcome it. Because we won't allow any other outcome. I don't want we won't to know leave. until we try. We just have to keep on pushing forward I want to and remain longer. hopeful. That is how we'll make it through and see the light once more. With my like we always have. And like we always will. I won't let this be the end. Friend. I will see you all again. Because I love you all so much. And I can't ever allow myself to be without a single one of you. I am Cyndaquil. I am Jeffrey. And also, I am Midnight and Beyond. Sweet dreams.